Good evening. Both sides in the European referendum are appealing to their potential supporters to turn out when the polls open on Thursday. Speaking in Glasgow this evening, the former Prime Minister Gordon Brown pleaded with working families to back Remain, warning that leaving the EU was a gamble with jobs. But the Leave campaign insists Britain's economy would prosper. This from our political editor, Brian Taylor. It was a message for all, an argument for EU cooperation on issues like climate change. But it was particularly a message for anxious working families, arguing that the road to economic growth and jobs lies through Europe. If you want jobs to remain, vote remain. If you want industries to remain, vote remain. If you want investment to remain, vote remain. If you want companies to remain, vote remain and we must get that message across to people over these next 36 hours. But in Aberdeen, Leave campaigners argued that European rules frustrated trade and that Britain could thrive outside the EU. I think that Leave voters are energised because we know that we can affect change. I don't think that the, the Remain argument of let's stick with what we've got and you know, we don't know what the future is really going to be like within the EU is really resonating where we've got some clear arguments within the Leave campaign which I think are, are resonating with people right across the country. Taking the message round the doors, Leave canvassers believe their campaign has the passion to get their vote out. Good. Good. Remain campaigners, like the First Minister, know they need to energise their supporters. With families in Edinburgh, Nicola Sturgeon warned that British exit from the EU could jeopardise women's rights. That's denied by her rivals. Well, Brian's with me now. Brian, one day of campaigning to go. Both sides urging people to get out and vote. So how important is turnout? It's hugely important. I mean, there are more than 46 million voters registered across the whole of the UK, nearly 4 million in Scotland. If you think of it this way, perhaps among that, say among those 46 million, there is a majority in terms of opinion for one side. But in terms of those who actually turn out to vote, it is the other side that holds sway. That's called differential turnout, and that's what I think perhaps particularly the, the Leave side are relying upon. They believe the passion, the zeal, the zest is with them. Now, Nigel Farage said that his supporters would crawl over broken glass to vote to get out of the EU. Now, as far as I know, the, the returning office don't require that anymore as a, as a condition <laughs> for anymore. voting, but uh, it, this differential turnout question is absolutely key. Now, I'm not going to ask you who will win, but how will it be won? I, I think what we're seeing today is, is people appealing to, to sectors, admittedly rather large sectors, the Leave vote appealing to those with an argument to take back control, particularly with regard to immigration. Gordon Brown tonight appealing to what would have been formerly Labour strongholds, but certainly working families in Scotland, warning them that the jobs route is through the EU. Nicola Sturgeon again with an appeal to a sector, admittedly a very large sector, of women, saying that women's rights will be jeopardised. So you're seeing uh, individual campaigners across all sides trying to energise their sector of the vote to turn out and to turn out to vote their way. We'll wait and see. Brian, thank you. It's been a day.